So, another movie set in Scotland is the Glenfinnan Viaduct, which is uh, in the Harry Potter movies, where Harry and Ron, a bit out of breath, sorry guys, sort of fly the car over the train. So we're heading up to a viewpoint to take some photos. It's a car park about 250 metres down there, £3.50 to park, not too bad. The train's coming in about 20 minutes, so we're going to go get set up. 20 minutes? I think so. Okay. Wait, got 20 minutes? Oh, that's fine then. I can go. And we're going up the mountain, yeah? Everyone's up there. And we're heading that way. So I think we might head up with everyone else to watch the train come past. Okay, so uh, most of the people are stood over there, sort of getting a view of the viaduct, I guess from the end of it. Um, the train's gonna be coming in from over there, over the far side. But here, I've just come across the, off the beaten path a bit to the, to the right-hand side. And I get to see a bit more of the curve and the arches. I might be able to get this little valley in behind if the clouds lift a little. And I think altogether I've got a bit of a better view than everyone else from where I'm stood. And I'm not stood next to a load of people breathing down my neck either. So it's an absolutely miserable afternoon in the Glencoe Valley. We're just up from the Three Sisters on the hunt for some waterfalls, which we've read in uh, the photography book that we've been using, which is the Photo View Photographing Scotland. And um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the, <laughs> the instructions on the paths to take weren't quite clear enough. So we ended up taking some really weird paths, but I think we've ended up pretty much where we need to be, which is opposite what looks like an old white stables on the, on the right hand side of the road if you're driving down. Then opposite that, heading down towards here, yeah, which is some, some gorges in the bedrock in the bottom of the valley, where there should be some waterfalls. And if it ever stops raining, I'll be able to do some long exposures. So um, we're gonna slip and slide our way down there, and see what happens. So we made it down and it looks like there is some gorges and some of a river and some waterfalls and the rain's just about easing off. So perhaps actually now we'll be able to go and take some photos. I would recommend if you are gonna come down here, maybe bring in a pole or just taking it very easy because there's a load of little gorges and holes which are covered by the grass, which will quite easily with a slip, snap your ankle off. So be careful but let's hope it's worth it. The waterfalls weren't that impressive and my photos were even less impressive of the flowing water here, just really weren't that good. So I didn't end up editing any of these. However, I did get another two shots, which I thought were okay. This one is of the three sisters. This is the middle sister and there was a lovely moody sky.
Secondly, it was this lone tree, which I managed to get underneath and shoot upwards, which was great because I could set it against the really low hanging cloud in the first sister that is on the right hand side of this particular shot. So finally today, the weather is meant to change a little and uh, we've driven down a little single track road, about 12 miles down it, to Loch Ative and the Ative Moor Valley, which was beautiful as we drove down it. We've got to the end and there's a little car park next to the top of the loch and uh, just hoping for the weather to change and just as I got this camera out, tiny bit of Sun. So I might be able to get my camera out and take some photos, but we're also on the hunt for deer today. You know, not, not proper hunting, but I want to take some nice photos of uh, the wild red deer. Still haven't seen any. It's been about four, four days now we've been around Glencoe area. Still not seen one deer. Seen plenty of deer signs. Don't feed the deer. Watch out for the deer, but not seen one actual deer yet. So there's also on the road um, one of the famous shots from James Bond's Skyfall, where he stops his Aston Martin and parks up and looks down the valley. So that might be a a nice place to stop. And there's some, also around that area there's a there's a few crags in the bedrock where the river runs through down the valley some nice waterfalls in so yeah, it might be a good little day out down here we shall see but we're going to start at the lock at the bottom of the road and make our way back up to where we're staying today parking spot on the way back up next to a construction site where they're laying some huge pipes. Um, I'm not going up there now but <clears throat> up on so I don't want to make you feel sick up on that hill out there it's a huge waterfall so I'll just take a couple of photos of it see how it comes out and there's a few more waterfalls we're going to go and try and see but I think as we're driving up the road here the weather's just following us back up the valley so I might have to sit and have some lunch to try and wait for it to pass see if it gets any better down Glen Ative, uh, sort of follows the river. So as we're driving back upstream, as it were, <coughs> we're finding some nice little spots to go and take some photos if the cloud ever lifts just a little, because it is a still meh in Scotland at the moment. But with the rain, these rivers have filled up <clears throat> a lot more. You might be able to start to hear them now. It's quite impressive. Look at that. So, yeah, I'm not sure how far down there I'm going to be able to make it to try and take some photos because it's going to be very slippy and I might go arse over tit. But, yeah, we'll try it anyway, see what happens.
Just stopped off at this, uh, next to the river again, just a bit up from the waterfalls. There's a film crew down there. It looks like they're filming some sort of outdoor cooking show because it smells lush. Um, Kaz is traipsing up a hill up there. Because what I'm going to try and do is use something I learned from uh, Mads, which is perspective compression. Just trying to um, put a person into, <laughs> direct a person miles away. Okay, <laughs> she doesn't want to move. I'll have to move the camera. But what I'm going to try and do, if you can see up there, is um, get Kaz on the hill, on the ridge, with this huge waterfall and the mountain behind her, just to give it a bit of a perspective of how tall and steep this waterfall is. I'm not sure whether it'll work. Give it a go, but we'll say it will work because otherwise she'll moan about having to traipse through wet grass for nothing. Now she's disappeared. Oh, this isn't going well. <laughs> We made it a bit further up the road again, and we've made it to the James Bond Skyfall shot. Now I don't have a uh, Aston Martin, and there is construction work happening down there. Um, but that's what it looks like. You're gonna be James Bond, Kaz. Obviously not. Octopussy! <laughs> now the house from the film, it doesn't actually exist down this road. They just use this road for those shots and why not? It's beautiful. Apart from the construction work down there obviously. Guess what I found? Yes, that's right. More waterfalls and a river in the valley. Finally, there's a little bit of sun coming out on the hills in the background, which might be quite nice. But here, we are parked up on the side of the road again, just a little bit further up from the uh, Skyfall James Bond spot. And I'm just gonna have a little play in the waterfalls. So this evening, I've come to photograph Locken N apostrophe A H Acles. I'll put the name on the screen because I, I ain't gonna even bother trying to pronounce that. And it's just about sunset. Golden hour is just about finishing. I want the clouds to light up real nice. Um, the lock's really still at the moment, and the midges are everywhere. So I'm walking about to try and stay away from the murderous swarm but this place is absolutely beautiful um, I think it's not an easy place to get to it's right next to the A82 um, and there's a little car park just up the road and you can walk down to this point you've got the mountains in the background probably be shooting using my 24 to 70 and yeah just getting some reflections of the mountains some of these little islands in the lock <laughs> Tony won Scottish zombie death midges nil. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. Makes it a little bit hard to see what you're composing, but oh, I feel like I can take on the world now. 
no midges in my face. So this lock that I cannot pronounce is simply epic. I mean, I could spend a lot more time here looking at all the different compositions I could take. There's so many rocks, the little bits of grass poking out of the, the edges of the lake, all of these different little islands with their own trees on. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can get more mountains, you can get less mountains. Oh, it's, um, <laughs> it's stunning and it's great for a sunset location. Just be careful when you're parking next to the road to get here. There are a couple of car parks a little bit further up and you can walk down to this bit to shoot back towards the mountains there. But if you're on the A82 at around about sunset, I would definitely recommend stopping here to take some photos. Simply beautiful. So this afternoon, I have come down to Kilchurn Castle, a very popular photo location in Scotland. And oh, midges are back. Anyway, there's lots of different compositions um, that you can get here apparently. Afternoon seems to be quite good because the sun is up there, shining down on the background. Um, there's a few loads of different trees across the shoreline here. You can get a reflection in the water if it's nice and still. Um, it seems great actually. So I'm going to walk up and down this shoreline, take a few photos, see what comes up. First one I'm taking actually is with this tree right by me here. I'm going to use those branches to arch over the castle and frame it up with a bit of a reflection in the water at the same time. Um, so yeah, it's looking quite good. Easy to get to. If you go on the main road and you put Kilchurn Castle into Google Maps, you actually need to turn off the main road and go about half a mile down and <clears throat> get into uh, um, some parking spaces. And then you can just trot across the field down to here. Um, if you put into Google Maps the Kilchurn Castle viewpoint, you'll get to the parking spot. So nice and easy to get to, two minute walk over. Don't mind the sheep and off you go. Let's go take some photos. If you enjoyed this content, I'd really appreciate a like, a comment, let me know what you thought, or even a subscribe. Until next time, thank you.